Hello, and welcome to this live debate between the Democratic candidates for Georgia governor. This is their final debate before Tuesday's election. We also want to welcome those of you watching on WSBTV.com and listening on WSB Radio. Let's meet our candidates. Each will have one minute for opening remarks. We determined the speaking order and podium position today by drawing. First, Stacey Abrams. Ms. Abrams is an attorney and former State House Minority Leader. Ms. Abrams, your opening remarks. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, WSB. I appreciate this opportunity to share with Georgia why I am the clear choice in this election. When I was growing up, my family struggled to stay above the poverty line, but we never struggled to know what was right. We knew that when you saw a problem, you solved it, especially the tough ones, because that's what leaders do. And for the last 20 years, I have done my best to lead the state of Georgia and help solve problems across the state. That's why I'm excited about the opportunity to become the governor who helps educate bold and ambitious children, builds a thriving and diverse economy across the state of Georgia, and helps lead a government that is responsive to everyone. I bring to this an unmatched experience as a business leader, as a political leader, and as a nonprofit executive. But most importantly, I come to this as a Georgian who understands that our best days lie ahead of us, and with the right leadership, we can go anywhere we want. Because I want to be the leader who makes certain that every Georgian has the freedom and the opportunity to thrive. And I look forward to answering your questions today to make certain you know that I'm the best choice to lead the state of Georgia. Our next candidate, Stacey Evans. Ms. Evans, also an attorney and a former member of the State House from District 42 in Cobb County. Ms. Evans, your remarks. by a single teenage mother. There were many times where we didn't have lights or water in our home because we couldn't always afford to pay those bills. We moved a lot. We lived in about 16 homes by the time I was 18 years old. There was drug abuse in my home and there was domestic violence oftentimes. But because of the Hope Scholarship, I was able to change my circumstances and become the first in my family to go to college. I went to the University of Georgia. I stayed there for law school where I met my husband, Andrew. We have a beautiful, energetic, and very smart daughter named Ashley, who's six years old and is watching at home. Hi, Ashley. Hope allowed me to have a beautiful family, allowed me to have an amazing career as an attorney, and allowed me to serve in the state legislature, the same body that some 20 years before I got there saw fit to invest in kids like me all across the state of Georgia who otherwise never could have afforded to go to college. Now I'm running for governor to bring the same hope and opportunity that was allotted to me to all Georgia families. Thank you so much, and I look forward to your votes on Tuesday. Ms. Evans, I apologize. In, the, in your first couple of sentences, we didn't have your microphone all the way up, so I wanted to okay. give you the opportunity, if you don't mind, what you said your first couple of sentences, please. I'm Stacy Evans, and I'm <laughs> running for governor. Uh, I was born in Ringgold, Georgia. It's a small town up in the northwest corner of the state. I was born there to a single teenage mother. Many times we couldn't afford to pay the bills for our lights or water. And we moved a lot. We lived in about 16 different homes by the time I was 18 years old. Ms. Evans, I'm not you. sure where the, where the sentence yeah. ended, but no. hopefully you at home got uh, <laughs> enough of that to understand that I uh, believe in hope very strongly, and I look forward to your questions. Thank you.